So I'm out here looking for Alex, trying to find out a little bit about him and his uh, Instagram and his booming YouTube page. And I can say so much about him, but I'd rather you guys just meet him. Um, but I don't really know where he's at, so. All I know is that he has a nice car and it's definitely not parked here, but well, hopefully. But check out the scenery. Hey, Alex, the man. Something I, wait, 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 wait. Let me go first, and then you can go. All right, all right. So, Alex, the man, the main plan. Yo, what's up? What's up, man? What's what are you doing? doing? What are you doing, man? Well, just here at church, and well, my boy from Regeneration TV hit me up to do a video. So a collab. Yeah, a collab. Hey, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> We're gonna have to put that light on here. Because unfortunately, me and you are too, Yo, it's too dark it's for this. Dark yeah, super. It's called Twilight, right? Edith, is this called Twilight? I don't know, but you can correct me down in the comments below. Correct me. So, this is Alex Franco, and he has his own YouTube, Instagram, the whole shebang. Uh, go ahead and check him out. What's your? Oh, my Instagram is Primal Speed Three. My YouTube is Primal Speed Three. That's about it. Oh, Instagram, YouTube, Primal Speed Three. Link is going to be actually down below, and I'm going to put it up top in one of those little bars. So just go ahead and click, show him some love because he deserve it. So now, why do they call you Primal Speed? Well, it all started when I had a Mazda. It was a Mazda Speed 3, so that's where the Speed 3 comes in. And then um, I found a YouTuber who has a brand called Primal Driven, and I really liked his designs and stuff. Then eventually I just came up with Primal Speed 3, because I was looking for a creative, cool name. So all that just came up, and yeah, that's how it came to be born. All right, all right. Now he's gonna go ahead and show us his car because it's pretty sweet. And apparently it goes zero to 100 in how many seconds? About two, two seconds, easy. Realistically like six? Six Realistic. minus four. So literally it got super, super dark and real quick and we're too dark for this. So my light is actually out but I have my phone. So we're gonna ghetto rig this to finish the movie. You ready? Yep. All right. All right, Alex, what do we got here? All right, so behind me, we have a Subaru WR uh, Impressa WRX. Um, this specific one was uh, from 2005. It's all wheel drive. It has a 2.0 um, turbocharged engine. And um, when it breaks, it's pricey. How much on a brand new off the lot? Like back then on this? Yeah. Maybe around 18,000? 18, 18, really? 17. Man. And nowadays it's like 7,000. 7,000? Yeah. How, it, many, how many miles do you think 7,000? Um, like how much mileage it would have? Yeah. Been? About. Roughly 147. 147. Yeah, but I got lucky enough, and I got this in 119,000 miles, and uh, right now it's at one 121,000 miles because I've been daily driving it. All right. And I drive from San Jose to Gilroy on daily, so 
I do a lot of um, commuting. So don't lie, how fast have you gone on that car? Don't worry, I won't tell your dad. In case my mom finds this. <laughs> um, for all she knows, 70. 70? For all everyone else knows, 130. <laughs> oh, snap. So. 130. All right, so show us around. Show us your car on the outside, and then we'll check the inside out. All right, so right now, um, it was damaged, and um, it was an Asian. And then um, the headlights, they broke, and they were too expensive, so I had to get aftermarket ones. Um, the hood scoop is functional, unlike Mustang owners. All they do is uh, put plastic stuff that they don't go through, so. <laughs> uh, so that scoop, what's it for? It's for the um, intercooler. It gives it air to yeah. cool down, and it helps the, the turbo breathe better. Because if it didn't have that, it would uh, it would get a uh, hot air and it would make it slower. Okay. So cold air means more power. More power. Yes. All right. What else we got? I put some Bridgestone Potenza. I forgot the exact numbers on the rest, but they they're summer extreme summer tires. They they're really good. They're better than the piece of Asian crap that I had. Tires. <laughs> Now pizza, Asian. It's like I used to have Chinese tires, and those were so cheap, <laughs> so I wouldn't know how to say it friendly. Okay. Piece. Oh well, crap! Is in the family. Yeah. Piece of crap, Asian tires. Yeah. All right. I don't have anything against Asian. It's just that uh, you guys make cheap quality stuff. So. Well, that's, you pay for what you get, right? Yeah, basically. <laughs> All right, yeah. so right here we have Rally Armor mud flap. Uh, basically, only basically only have this just so uh, whenever I'm here at church, when I feel like gassing it, so that um, so like in case I pick up rocks, they don't like just jump and scratch my car or possibly somehow hit the people behind me. You're kind. That's and, super uh, kind. Yeah, I'm tough. All right, and also, um, if you feel like going off-roading when it's raining, it'll help you keep the mud in there, so it doesn't like splash out everywhere. It'll still come out, but not as much. And um, right here, my plate cover—that's an extra 10 horsepower. The plate cover is an extra 10. Yep. Why? And um, it's from Prim Primal Driven. And, so that gives you 10 horsepower. Yeah, but only from there. Okay, just from the back. Yep. All right, cool. The front one, it just evens it out. Uh, balances. Now right here, this is for aerodynamics. And um, makes it look nice. It gives it a nice look, aggressive. So how many horsepower is that? That, um, on the description it said 15, but it feels like it gave it 20, so. Oh, okay, cool. Let's see somewhere between there. I'd say push start horsepower. Yeah, push start. Then right. um right here it's my under here I have my IG for those people who want to follow me. And I've gotten five oh my <laughs> I gotten five follows um from people on the road and um it really does help you. A lot of people say like wow your car looks nice even though it's ugly. Oh nice and then right here DC Sport that's the brand of the air intake that I got for this car. They're really cheap. They're California legal, so small people you can't film me for that. <laughs> that's be something else. Yeah. Um, and then is it stock in interior? Uh, basically. Just no, I, s I see those stickers. How much? How much horsepower are you pushing with those, all those stickers? I wanted to keep it low key, but the in focus sticker. Yeah. It's uh, 10 plus, um, depending what tune you run. The the shift knob another five. Um, the shift boot, another 10 because of uh, higher quality, more light. So 5 plus 15 plus 20 plus 35, how much is that? Dude, you're, you're putting too much of, you're just overloading my brain. I, I'll just say somewhere around 40. That's not right, but <laughs> somewhere around 40. 40 horsepower boost. Yep. And then <laughs> the pedals, they're from factory. So those pedals um 
from factory, they give you extra five. Factory stars. Walmart or what? Like um, factory Target. Factory Target, nice. Yeah. Yeah, I've seen those. Yeah, and um, <laughs> shall we go under the hood? Yeah. Pop that hood. All right, and so it's not the cleanest, but better than some people out there. All right, so right here is the DC Sport air intake that I'm talking about. So hot that my hand feels warm. It feels nice. <laughs> then um, here's the here's my uh, air filter. Right here, here's the hose to make it cool down, and you know it so overheated. So where's the on. engine? Shoot, the engine's under all this. Under all that? Yep. All this is just like like supporting items to your engine. Okay, so you can just take that off and just have the engine and make it go fast. Yeah, because basically you just need an engine to run. Yep. Perfect. So you know, it, you it, just take all that out. It's, it's, it's gonna run for. It might run for like five minutes and break down, but within those five minutes, you have You're all the fastest. this. Yeah, like within those five minutes, you have all this weight taken off. And then, what's this? The mouse? Um, we're keeping it low key, but for you guys, we'll give you our secret. We put NOS in here. It, um, NOS. Yeah, and, um, right here we have a reservoir NOS. Uh -huh. So, just in case we run out of here, we have, um, extra right here. So, basically, we just disconnect the hose that goes under there. We connect it to here, and. Ooh. I heard NOS is drinkable. Um, if you're Mexican. Okay, or and Asian. if you're Mexican. Or Asian. Or Asian. Okay. Yeah. Alright. So, um, I don't think it, it counts with Filipinos, but... Right. So that's pretty much it. Ah! Alright guys, so now for the serious part. Um, today's topic, uh, baptism. So what's baptism? Basically, it's where you're reborn through Christ. You give your life to Him. And um, basically, um, your life is his now, so you're his servant. You're, you're like pretty much all, not guaranteed, but you're a step closer to entering heaven. Once you die, once that world, whatever, if you're killed, it's a shame. But, you know, basically, doing that gets you closer to being with your Lord. And I baptized last week. For the reason that I felt like it was about time, I wanted to be more serious in life. I wanted to be closer to God. And I felt like when I wasn't baptized, I didn't take it seriously because, you know, being baptized, it makes me feel like I have to be um, good in like church stuff. I have to be into the Bible. Like without baptism, like, I said that to myself, I have to be in that, but then I would just let it go and do other stuff like, um, for example, like someone, say they have an addiction to drugs or alcohol, porn, whatever it is. Um, I feel like when you're not baptized, um, you just lack, uh, slack off because you're not in that commitment yet. And being in that commitment makes you feel like um, you have power, you have endurance to overcome your temptations or your addictions, your whatever you have. And for me, it's helped me in life. I don't want to say what I had, but I've had problems and right now I'm doing really good and not falling into it. And it feels great. So if you're thinking about baptizing, talk with your pastor, your teacher, whoever you want to talk to and let them know like you want to get baptized, that you want to be a new man, that you want to be um, safe from death and I don't know where I'm going with this. <laughs> and, uh, yeah. So now that you're baptized, uh, would you say that things are a lot easier? They're not a lot easier, but you have more like willpower to overcome like bad things like temptations, and, like I just explained. Well, I would say that you're you're not you don't feel alone at this anymore. That no, you like, have. I feel like I have a companion. A guardian I feel stronger I feel like I could just take on whatever it comes towards me 
All right. Well, well unless it's a rocky, because <laughs> that was just fun. <laughs> well, other than that, anything else you want to say to these regenerator? Um, if you haven't baptized, think about it, because you never know when the world is gonna come to an end. And um, it's like an insurance policy. You just have backup right there. You have more benefits in a way. Um, so just think about it and I'm not forcing you, but I'm just saying if you guys are looking forward to doing something like that, taking the extra step, just do it if you feel in your heart. And I think that's about it. All right then. All right, guys. Well, that was it. It's pitch black, and we already we already recorded our outro, and that's why convenience. <laughs> so that's why there's a lot of sun on the outro. But other than that, my name is Josh. This is Alex Franco, and this is Josue. Josue. Hey, that's a good name, bro. No. <laughs> my name's Josue. No, but this is Regeneration TV, and we're signing out. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video and hope you learned something new today. Um, as usual, have a great day.